Uh, meanwhile, the winner of the Republican primary uh, in Iowa is Joni Ernst. And you'll remember Joni Ernst. She was the woman who said, I'm qualified to go to uh, Washington be your senator because I can make pigs squeal. I'm Joni Ernst. I grew up castrating hogs on an Iowa farm. So when I get to Washington, I'll know how to cut pork. Joni Ernst, mother, soldier, conservative. My parents taught us to live within our means. It's time to force Washington to do the same. To cut wasteful spending, repeal Obamacare, and balance the budget. I'm Joni Ernst, and I approve this message because Washington's full of big spenders. Let's make them squeal. <laughs> now, uh, Joni Ernst is a uh, obviously a candidate of strong, strong conviction. And so, um, on May 31st, at 3.31 p.m., uh, when it was announced that U.S. Army Sergeant Bo uh, Bergdahl was freed, she tweeted out, U.S. Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl freed after being reported missing five years in Afghanistan. Thoughts and prayers go out to Sergeant Bergdahl and his family. And then 25 minutes later, that tweet was removed. Uh, when, I mean, because you wouldn't want thoughts and prayers to go out to anybody, just anybody. Jody uh, Ernst uh, was not alone in uh, retracting, tweeting out that they were happy to hear that a U.S. military person who had been in prison for five years was released. Representative Lee Terry, a Republican of Nebraska, said in a statement on his website, a grateful nation welcomes the news of the return of Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. I have the pleasure of regularly speaking with our nation's active duty military and veterans. I know there's nothing more solemn than the pledge to never, let me repeat that, nothing more solemn than the pledge to never leave one of their own behind on a field of battle. Terry said uh, in the statement before calling Bergdahl a national hero. Uh, that statement was has since been removed from his website. Um, Mark Amodi, Republican from Nevada. Best news I've heard in a long time, said his Twitter account. Hashtag stand with Bo. The tweet was then deleted 15 hours later. Bad reaction time on that one. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. That must have been be, over the weekend. Yeah. You got to be a little faster on the uptake. Yeah. So you got to be a little faster on, uh, on on pulling back the prayers and hopes. Excuse me. Oh, we're demonizing this dude who's just leaving Afghanistan and Taliban activity at 15 hours later. Uh, you know, my staff really needs to get much more on the ball with this. Oh, my God. We need the demonization turnaround o meter uh, reinstalled in our... Uh... I should know we're smearing this soldier within a half hour. That tweet should not go out. <laughs> I should know we're besmirching this guy and his family... Before the message goes out. How many times have I told you to send the well wishes through Snapchat? <laughs> I, I have a bunch of tweets I collected, not from politicians, but just from like, you know, TCOT and various right wingers. Literally, like up to like five days ago, there were people sign this petition to bring home our prisoner of war, Bo Bergdahl. And then I found a tweet of them from the past like two days where it's like, can't believe Obama did all that to bring home this terrible person, traitor. He should be hanged and quartered. 